Let's talk about those conspiracies concerning Freemasonry. This subject is so broad that it may take me multiple videos to show off some of the more prominent examples of where these conspiracies come from. So please bear with me if the one that you heard hasn't come up yet. Let's start off with the fact that the biggest anti-Masonic party, and I'm not talking about the political one, happens to be the church both the Roman Catholic Church and most Christian and Protestant sects. You see, in 1738, a papal bull was drafted that prohibited Catholics from becoming Freemasons. The reason for this wasn't so much that the Church had a problem with the Freemasons, it was more about the political strife that was going on, particularly between the Hanoveria, Hanoverians and the Jacobites. Lodges in and around the European continent were not excluded from this division. In Rome, the lodges were primarily Jacobites and Catholic, but allowed Protestants to join. However, in Florence, the lodges were primarily Hanoverian and allowed Catholics and atheists to join who were supportive of the Whig party. James III, who happened to be in Italy at the time, noticed in 1737 that the Hanoverian French Catholics had taken over the Grand Lodge of France and were starting to outweigh the pro-Stuart Jacobites. He asked Pope Clement XIII to write the papal bull specifically to deny Hanoverian Freemasonry. Meanwhile, in France, and I'm going to butcher this name, André Hercule de Fleury, I'm sorry, the chief minister of Louis XV of France noticed something else going on. He noticed the Jacobites that were in France were forming clandestine Freemason lodges, and when they went to Louis for sympathy, they were all getting raided. So he, André Hercule, wrote to Clement and said, just ban Freemasonry, in which he did. The papal bull is written in respects to spirituality and religion rather than political affiliation to show that the Pope was trying to play the middle ground, even though he and his other individuals probably had more of a leaning toward the Jacobite sympathizers. In the papal bull, it states that Catholic Freemasons are in a state of grave sin, and at the very least could not receive Holy Communion, at the very most were excommunicated. The pain of excommunication. And this papal bull still holds true today, signed by Pope John Paul II in 1983, and was held all the way till now. I'm pretty sure Pope Francis, even though he is one of the more relaxed popes, still keeps this one close to heart. However, on the side of Freemasonry, this does not exclude you from being a member. If you are of any faith, you may be a member of a Freemason Lodge. We don't care if you're Catholic or Christian or Muslim or Jewish or pagan or anything aside from atheism, because you have to believe in some form of higher power. And that's just part one. The next part, we'll talk about the Taxel hoax.